guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Right, The Eye of Atlantis. This game is coming out on Steam today. It's coming to the Oculus Store very soon. A big thank you to the developers for this review key. Let's dive in. Okay guys, here we are in the game. Okay, really cool backdrop. I'm going to uh, check out the options. Okay, language. Quality. I'm going for high. And we're going to start a new game. Okay, the water effect's really, really nice. Traveller 214-7745, welcome to Historia Time Travel. You have chosen the Atlantis Discovery Pack with a robot tour guide option. Here is how we shall proceed. Thanks to an advanced computer program, we will transfer your mind into the body of an Atlantean of the time. This will allow you to wander freely without looking strange to local inhabitants. Some basic rules. Avoid interacting with the island's inhabitants, don't do anything you might regret, and keep a low profile. Good. We shall teleport you to a Mediterranean island to help you understand the time travel process. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, in front of me is a time travel device. Some weird pictures behind me. Okay, let's do this. Good morning, dear traveler, and welcome to Thoros, our home island. I am your tour guide. Enjoy this gorgeous landscape while we discover together the basics of time travel. First, we shall learn how to move around. For your convenience, we have developed a teleportation system. Look, do you see this little antique column over there? Try to get there. Okay. Okay, guys, this looks amazing. Yeah, wow, this is really well done. Look at my hands. Oh, they're a bit, um, a bit janky. Well, the hands are really realistic. I've just had a notification. My controllers, the batteries are going, so I'm going to have to um, change my batteries. Okay, so thumbstick to uh, teleport. So you press down the thumbstick to move. Let's go over here. Very good indeed. You will crush any competition in the Olympics 100 meter run of 2084. But I'm losing track. We still have work to do. On your back is your travel bag. It will act as inventory. Grab it. On my back, okay. That's cool. So my uh, hand vibrates when I pick things up. Okay. Perfect. Now grab the piece of medallion on the column. Grab this. Okay. Now you only have to deposit it in one of your inventory slots. Look at the uh, shine on the textures, look. Put it in there. Very well. Take What's... your bag and put it on your back. Oh no, I was about to forget something capital. Do you see the little box with a button in your bag? Yeah. This is your emergency exit. All right. In case of trouble, just take it out and press it. And I'll take you back to your time at Historia Time Travel. Okay. Got it? Got Come it. on, pack your bag. For good this time. And keep going along the cove. Okay. Yeah, this looks really, really nice, guys. I feel like I'm on a real island in the tropics somewhere. The backdrops look really nice. Look at the fish. Okay guys, if you know me, I like to take my time. I like to explore. I might geek out a little bit. I know a lot of people want me to just get on with it, but I'm here. I want to experience it. I want to live it. I don't want to rush. What's the point rushing a VR game? 
If the game has been made so well like this, why rush it? I never understand these people who rush through VR games. Just save it every moment. Look at the fish. I could quite happily sit here with a coffee and just relax. Okay, we're going this way. On your way, you will find a seashell. I advise you to pick it up. Okay. Take it to your ear. The Atlanteans lived in symbiosis with nature. Some of them put messages in the cavity of the shells, acting as a memory bank or postal letter. If you feel like it, pick up and listen to every shell you shall find once there. Okay. That being said, go to the end of the creek. The game's running super smooth. Looks really nice on the Rift S. Okay, let's grab the shell. Let's have a listen. One, two, one, two. This is a test. Can you hear me, Traveller? Here is a reproduction of the seashell system that you can find on Atlantis. Collect them and listen to the messages they hold to learn more about the lives of the Atlanteans. Okay, that's really cool. It's really hard to explain, but uh, when you listen to things like that in VR, it feels like there's a real shell there. You can hear the echo and everything. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, has the game got an EM snap turning? Yes. So the game's got snap turning. I might need to change that in the options. Let me uh, see if I can find the option menu. Let me return to the main menu. I'm going to continue for now. Um, let's use the uh, teleport. We have some lavender here, look. To be honest, I don't know a lot about this game. I know it's on a lot of people's wish list. I'm loving that backdrop. Those backdrops are stunning. So this is new to me, I don't know what to expect. I think um, I'm getting the feeling this is like a puzzle game. Okay, snap turn around here. Eager to travel in the past? I feel your shudder, young adventurer. I too, for Atlantis is one of my favorite destinations. Please pay attention to the following. You will encounter digital locks once you've arrived to the past. This is an inspection process we put in place to ensure that you are still properly synchronized with the system. Here is an example lock. By combining the provided key and the modules that you find on the way, you will have to reproduce the geometric shape of the locks and then just insert it in to unlock. Note that if an unlocking happens simultaneously as a system update, there may be some side effects. Try to unlock this one here to send your mind to the past, at last! Don't forget, you will incarnate the body of a fisherman. No worries, the old man lived alone, a real hermit. No risks of meeting relatives who might bother you. Okay. So this is a puzzle. I've got a cube. Does that go in there? Ahoy, Atlantis! Okay. What's happening? My screen went a bit funny there. Oh! Hi, Hello. Prince. You are surrounded. Do not resist and everything will be fine. Okay, don't mind me. I'm having some um, glitching. Okay, I'm in a cell. Hi, Priest. Oh. I watched helplessly as you were being kidnapped. But I'll help you get out of here. Okay, do you have a key? Quick. We have no time to lose. Yeah. I managed to recover your attraction bracelet. Pass it on your right arm. 
Press it, did he say? Well, you can now attract any Auric Alchemite. But you already knew that. Surely there are Auric Alchemitems around you that will be useful to your escape. Okay. Unfortunately, I have not been able to recover your repulsion bracelet. It must be under the jealous watch. Okay. Really enjoying the atmosphere here. Uh, so I need a key. Let me. Shall stand in your way if you have your repulsion bracelet. Oh. 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 Such noise! I guess someone will be waking up with a headache. Do you see your repulsion bracelet? You yes. must get it back at all costs. Okay, guys, really, really cool effects here. You are now set for a spectacular escape. Ah, this is a really nice looking VR game as well. Um, this game feels like it's got polish and quality. This does not feel like an indie title. Okay, anything in the box? So I've got two now. It seems that the attraction is not powerful enough to break the door. Oh! It seems that the attraction is not powerful enough. I have the power! The strength of your powers is really impressive. I dare not imagine what would happen if they fell into the wrong hands. Good. Get out of here. I shall find you at the exit. Cheers, mate. Thanks for the bracelet. I feel really powerful. I'm a wizard, Harry. Okay, guys, right off the bat, I can tell you people are going to be complaining about the uh, teleportation. Um, in 2021, people want free locomotion. I do hope the uh, developers consider adding free locomotion for people who want it. Uh, for me, I'm quite happy with um, teleportation for trying out these games. Okay, so I'm really powerful now. Let me uh, let me break open these cells. Nothing in this one. Look at the view outside as well. I can see the stars and the clouds. I do like that weird um, glitch as well to make me uh, realize I'm a time traveler. Can I shoot them? No. Okay. Something shiny over here. Let me uh, destroy this one. I'm bending the metal. Okay, anything in here? No. Okay. Oh, there's a rat. Hello, rat. Okay. Okay, puzzle. One there, one there. What do you think, guys? Both together? Wait. Okay. Really, really cool effects with the flame as well. Okay. To be honest, I feel like I'm in a like an Assassin's Creed game. Not so fast. You thought you could get away so easily. You will suffer the same fate as this scoundrel. Okay, he's got magic as well. He can summon lightning. Finally, here we are. It is with great pride that I introduce you to Atlantis, a wonderful city. A jewel of civilization. How are you? Have you enjoyed the body change process? Sometimes customers complain about... But wait a minute! You don't have the old fisherman's body! Curious. Would there have been an update in this system? God, I'm always the last one told about these things. Never mind. 
Let's pretend everything is normal and let's resume our tour. We shall benefit from the curfew tonight to quietly visit the city's harbor and an Atlantean spiritual temple. A word of caution. The access to this temple is quite the challenge. Okay. Curfew requirements. Access is blocked for the evening. We will have to put your brains to the test, but you'll see. The game is worth the effort. Atlantean mysticism will have no secret for you. Here's the deal. You must activate three relays placed under the harbor's mythical statues. Three? This shall open the temple's door. Okay. When you're ready, go to the first statue. Okay. <laughs> Look at the rats all lined up. Okay guys, I cannot lie. I'm getting some really cool Asgard's Wrath vibes here. With the um, shiny textures. I mean, look at that statue there. And the lighting effect. Really, really cool. Attention to detail, like the flames and everything. The uh, textures. The uh, lighting effects. All add to immersion in VR. Okay, first puzzle. We'll start easily. With a simple mechanism. Nothing too overwhelming for you, I suppose. Okay. So we need to uh, turn these to match. Okay, we did it. We made Bravo. the Bravo, now we can move on. Okay, what's this? I mean, look at the textures on here, guys. You can't see this. In 3D, this looks amazing. There's like 3D lighting effects. Yeah, really, really cool. Do I put that in my, in my backpack? Put that in there. Okay. Turn around. Okay, we've got a laser there going over there, so I guess that's the uh, next puzzle. Now, a game like this with teleportation is ideal for new people to VR. Because there's no um, smooth locomotion, you won't feel sick. Okay, it's a tablet here, look. Can't read that. It's all a uh, gobbledygook. There's a knife here. Okay. Even the knife looks realistic with the, uh, the dullness of the blade. You can see all the little marks on the blade. I mean, think about it guys. These developers could have just made this like a, a grey piece of metal. They've added texture into the metal to make it realistic. Pretty awesome. Okay, do I need those? Look at the fish. A big hatchet here. Okay. I'm exploring, guys, don't mind me. Even the fish has got physics. Look at that. How cool. See, a lot of people would miss that. They'd rush straight to the next puzzle. Okay, let me just check down here. I'm exploring. I can't get onto the boat. Okay. Loving the statues of the uh, the oxen there as well. So I guess this is where we need to be going. This will open once we solve the puzzles. Again, really, really cool water physics. Really well done. Can I go in the water? No. Okay, another puzzle here. Find me at the next one, but take all the time you need. I've got this. This piece. That on there. That on there. Do 
activate the shape. Let me spin that round. Okay. Puzzle solved. Put the lock in there. I do like how my bag has got my mission objectives as well. Okay, grab the bag. I've just noticed the uh, amazing temple behind me and the lighting as well, superb lighting. Look at this place. This feels really magical. There's uh, another thing here, look. Another tablet. I can't read these. I don't know if they're collectibles. I'm just going to check out down here first. Like I said, I like to explore. What's this? That's going in my backpack. It's okay, put that in there. Okay, there's something over here. There's another piece here. Look. Okay. Can I put these two together? What happened there? Put that in there for now. Okay, there's a piece missing. Where's it gone? I had two pieces. Is it back down here? Let me check. No. So where did that piece go? Let me check the floor. Curious. There's a chest here. Can I uh, break open the chest? No. Second puzzle. That's odd. This mechanism is incomplete. The parts can't be very far. Ah. I've lost a piece though. I've got a piece missing. Okay guys, I need to try and find the piece that went missing. Uh, this is all good for the uh, developers as well, to help them iron out any books. There was a piece on there, where's it gone? I might have to restart this bit. Let me just have a look around, see if I can see another piece somewhere. What's this? Shell. Let's have a listen. Cletia, I do not know if this message will reach you. The sea seems enraged lately. With this war against Athens, which rages and seems endless, I begin to question the policy of expansion of our kingdom. We lived in the most beautiful and prosperous land of the continent. What good is it to conquer new territories? Alas, these political maneuvers escape me as much as they take me away from my people every day. Clitia, I do not know when I'll be back. I fight every day to safely come back to you. Do not forget me. Okay guys, I'm going to have to restart the level. I uh, booked out one of the pieces. Okay, return to main menu. Continue. Okay, if I continue the chapter, I'm hoping everything's going to be fixed. Somehow when I put those two pieces together, one of those pieces disappeared, so that suggests to me a bug in the game. Okay, that puzzle's been done. Let me check my backpack, see if there's any of those pieces in there. No. There we go, it's back again. Okay, well done developers. Put that in my backpack. Grab the uh, second piece. Put that in there, keep it away from the other one. 
Okay, we've got both pieces now. Okay. That's odd. This mechanism is incomplete. The parts can't be very far. It's one. And two. Well done. But the hardest part is yet to be done. Show me what you're capable of. Okay, puzzle solved. Excellent. The work of a real goldsmith. Follow me at your own pace to continue the tour. I do like really good puzzle games in VR, guys. They are some of the best and most immersive experiences. I'm getting some uh, Zing vibes as well. If you like games like Zing, you'll probably enjoy this one. Okay, I'm running out of space, so hopefully. Okay, we now need to head over there a lot. Again, I'm going to um, take my time. Okay, puzzle here. Okay, so the puzzles are getting a bit more complicated. Um, that's... Okay, like... Okay. So we need to replicate this puzzle here with this device. Uh, square there. Square on here. Okay, is that it? Yes. Perfect. Okay. The game's got quite a few loading screens, guys, so you will have to um, tolerate those. Okay, where are we? Uh, that's not good. Tsunami. Wow, look at that. It's bigger than I thought it was. That's just the uh, front of the tsunami. Okay, there's a giant wave here. Okay, interesting. That was like a, a cutscene. Hello? Where's she going? Damn, the path is blocked. You're good at mechanics, right? Go on. Roll up your sleeves and repair this device. Okay. So, do we need some cogs? Any cogs in there? I do like the little robot friend as well. He's like the uh, Animus from Assassin's Creed. Ah, here we go. Put these on here for now, and I can change them around later. You can use both thumbsticks to teleport. Okay, uh, where's the handle? Okay, so we need to connect that one to that one. That one goes on there. Do -do -do -do. Okay, is that going to work? That doesn't look like it's connected though. Is it working? It's working. Excellent. The way is cleared. Yes. Almost as impressive as Moses. As a matter of fact, I really recommend you to our Ancient Egypt travel offer. It's just as pleasant. Right. Let's focus and find the third and ultimate relay. Really enjoying the uh, scoping scale as well. That vital looks amazing. In fact, where I live, we have a viaduct exactly the same as that. 
That looks as real as a viaduct to my hometown. How cool is that? Okay, what's this over here? Something shiny. A shell. Okay. Leonidas, I have a bad feeling. Already a week and I still cannot sleep. I do not know how to explain it, but I feel a threatening telluric activity. As if nature was after us. I know what you will tell me. That I'm delirious. And that I should trust our high priest. He who seems to have saved us from a certain end. Nevertheless, I fear for my family. Try to talk to our high priest. He'll know what to do. Okay, I guess there's going to be pieces missing, so let me try and find the pieces first. Can I break these? I feel like these are some sort of easter egg. Or collectible. Okay, let me check out the puzzle. Here we are. I won't lie to you. This one is quite more challenging than the others. Find the pieces and enjoy an Atlantean brain teaser. Okay, we need one more piece. So the game's running super smooth, it looks amazing. Loving the atmosphere. Feels really polished. So far the puzzles are not very taxing. This is just chapter one though, so bear that in mind. I noticed in my videos I've been saying that phrase quite a lot. Bear that in mind. So could that be my catchphrase? I'd be really curious in the comments what you guys think my catchphrase is for this channel. What do I say in my videos that stands out a lot for you guys? Something I've always been curious about. It's right in front of me all along, right back here, look. Okay. I'm enjoying the uh, background music as well. Well done. But the hardest part is yet to be done. Show me what you're capable of. Okay, what we're making here. Okay, last time was a trident. This looks like a scorpion or something. So I'm having to move the outer one first into position. And then move the uh, middle one up. Yes. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you. You are talented, Traveller. Thank you. More than most of your predecessors. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this private tour of the harbour. I have. It is for me an honour to have made you tread the soil of Atlantis. It's time for my favourite part of the programme. The Sacred Temple. Okay, into the temple we go. So the little robot reminds me of uh, Higgs from Robinson the Journey, that's the uh, dinosaur game. Okay so this is another puzzle, um, I don't think you can spin these round guys so you have to physically look around the puzzle up. Okay so that's going to be my starting place here. Okay, it looks like there's a triangle there. Okay. Starting block. Uh, triangle piece. Okay, interesting. I can't do the top part. Okay, so square there, triangle piece under here. I'm 
Oh! I dropped them on the floor. They uh, disappeared through the floor. Okay, that's not good. I'm going to have to uh, restart again, aren't I? I keep breaking the game. I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> okay, maybe I can use the, this end. I think this is a square. So if I can use that as my starting point. I'm trying to do this logically, guys. So that's going to be the square here. So there's another cube on the end of there. What happened there? All my items disappeared again. Oh, that resets. Okay, guys, this point here resets everything. I did not know that. Okay, so we're going for... Okay. Triangle on there. Does that go like that? And then we have the... Uh... Okay, we know this cube goes on here, so... This should be it. That should be it, guys. I'm a genius. This game really makes you feel good. When you solve a puzzle, so satisfying. Oh, wow. Okay, this is epic. Oh. The fighting. Mine the sword. Visually really impressive. I do like how the action does not start until you're looking in the right spot. Those guys look giant as well, they look really huge. This is the highlight of the show. The temple and its typical architecture. This place is home to the great natural knowledge and Atlantean mysticism in all its splendor. The Atlanteans were a people of great wisdom, endowed with an intelligence very different from ours. Meditation took an important part in the practice of their religious belief. It is even said that their high priest practiced a sort of mystical trance between these walls, and that he entered into communication with the spirits of nature. He meditated there, enriching his spirit, and ensured a balance between Mother Nature and the people. Even I, although made of electrical chips and high-tech software, admire this great civilization. You know what, Traveler? I'm going to do something unusual. You seem to me wiser than most of our average customers, and I appreciate you. I will teach you how to prepare a meditation as an Atlantean High Priest would. Okay. I warn you, not everybody can do it. Here are some indications, but do not feel obliged to go to the end. I think it's even better that you don't. It seems to me that there are some crucial objects hidden in the xylophone. Take a look. Okay, we're looking for some objects up here. What's this? Ah, right, okay. So we have a musical puzzle here. Yes, I've unlocked one of the locks. Do, do, uh. Haha, okay. Well, I see that what I taught you passionates you and that you're doing very well. Ooh, look at if that. If you observe carefully, you will know where to place the statuette you have found. As for the mirror, 
I'm sure it will be able to reveal this temple's mysteries, if you know what I mean. Okay. And in this game, you can teleport whilst holding objects, which is a really, really cool. You would not believe the amount of games where you can't move when you're holding things. So, again, thank you, developers. Okay, where can I put the mirror? Over here. Let me spin this round. Again, the um, this looks like proper brass. That goes in there. Okay. I need to um, turn this mirror. Okay. Oh, there's a pillar in the way. Interesting. Okay. Grab this statue. Put it on here. So we need one more statue. What is this? There's like a crystal here. Can I light up the crystal? Something under here as well. A shell. Dear High Priest, I have got a bunch of kids playing in the temple. These rascals broke one of the four statuettes. Fortunately, they did not have time to do more damage than that. In the future, it will be necessary to close the access to the temple to avoid this kind of inconveniences. I even think that a curfew might be necessary for the next ceremony. The king himself will not mind. It is in no one's interest that you be disturbed in your duty. One more thing. Not willing to aggravate the situation, I entrust you with the repair of the statuette in question. Good luck. Okay. So we're going to try, I find a broken statue I need to repair. What does this thing do here? So now it's going to be a process of elimination with these mirrors. Ah, there we go. There's a crack in the pillar lock and it allows me to light this one up. Okay. Okay. Oh, we did it. What did that open? Oh, the crystal's working now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Four pieces of the statue. Is one of these broken? Yes. Okay, let me grab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How foolish of you, dear traveler. Careful, friend. Not enough jokes. Losing signal. Okay, did we do it? Bye, Joe. I think we did it. Snow. Okay, look at this. Achievement unlocked. This looks really, really nice. Again, these backdrops, these locations, I could quite happily sit here with a coffee and just chill out, guys. We've got the uh, constellation above us. We have another piece here. Good evening, High Priest. We were waiting for you for the ceremony. Did you collect your Oricalcum bracelet? If not, look for pieces scattered here and there. Hello, ladies. Uh, maybe they're not ladies, they've got weird faces. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. I don't want to spoil any more of the game. I still think this is chapter one. I'm not sure. I don't know how many chapters there are. Really enjoying the art style, the atmosphere, 
the graphics. Uh, the puzzles are quite challenging. They might be a bit generic. You've seen them before. But they still feel really good when you complete the uh, puzzles in VR. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye ladies. Oh they've gone. <laughs> they left me.